So for this site, our first task was to rip out the old rail, dig down and rebuild the formation up. So we started here on the 27th of December. What we found was the geotechnical equivalent of custard or a thick soup. What we found was a bit of a shock to us. We weren't expecting it at all. We ended up having to accelerate our program. We brought in additional people, additional plant. We had our night shift as contingency. We ended up cutting down an extra metre and a half than what we were expecting and our total dig depth was 2.6 metres. And we were able to basically throw manpower and machines at it, get the dig out completed and then rebuild it up on time and to program. For this block of line, we are dropping in three turnouts, so half a crossover. That'll enable us to keep the down main open at a later date. All up, we're putting in nine full turnouts and eight of those turnouts will then turn into four crossovers. The block of lines that we have are critical for us. Being able to shut the network down, rip out the entire track, do our dig outs and do everything we need to do is invaluable to us to rebuilding this network. As well as setting this up for the C8 Henderson Works, which is part of the wider CRL, it's also providing greater resilience for the network. So by renewing the formation, renewing the drainage, we're extending the life of the assets. So we're creating something that's gonna actually last a lot longer for the people of Auckland and our commuters, as well as freight services and anything else that may run on this line.